I really like playing at this location again because he's just gonna walk down the hill like this and you can get a lot of shots off while he's constantly walking trying to get a line of sight on you YouTube, what's up, man? We're back in business today with another video for you. Now, just last night, they nerfed the ability for us to run over the chemist as well as the juggernaut with our vehicles or our helicopters. If you guys are trying to do the weapons case missions or obtain the M13, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. The vehicles get DDoSed and disabled. There's absolutely no way around that. I promise I've played for hours and haven't found anything. But today, I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way you can do this. With the team, obviously better, but solo, you guys can get this done easy. I promise. Don't be discouraged. It's not that hard. I'm gonna explain what you guys need to do to get set up. Okay, so first, First of all, when we deploy, we're going to come into our loadout here and on your tactical, we're going to put on a tear gas on our lethal, a throwing knife, and then on our field upgrade and ammo box. Now, I'm not going to be taking in any weapons. I highly encourage you to use the ground RPK, where they also drop a 74U. Either of these are going to be the weapons that you want to use. So if you're doing the hazard zone contract, there will be a couple different spawns for this. I'm not going to lie. None of them really matter. This shit is difficult. If you're trying to get the M13 and you didn't get it, bro, you're in for a rough one. I would highly urge you to play with teammates to complete the M13 if you still haven't unlocked it. More what I'm going to be talking about today are the seven unlockable in-game rewards for the weapon cases that you can complete. Now the weapon cases are going to spawn at three different locations, okay? At the observatory here, at the hydroelectric location, and then the final one at this al Sharim pass up on the hill. Now if you spawn in and we do not have this location on top of al Sharim pass, which I'll show you here in a second, you guys just want to restart go again. That's why I say don't bring in a weapon, that way you guys can just leave the game, right? I'm using a ground weapon so it doesn't necessarily matter too much. The reason that I have the throwing knife, for example, is if I don't have a weapon, I can immediately again pick up the ground RPK using my throwing knife, right? So that way you guys don't have to melee any of these guys. You can just use your throwing knife, immediately get the weapon and go once you then get the location on Al Shireen Pass. Once we've located those, okay, there's the M13 hazard zone and the weapon case on top of the hill. We're gonna find a vehicle close to us and just immediately head for that. Now, when we get the spawn on Al Shireen Pass, let's pretend that the top of our map is north and the bottom south, okay? So we wanna enter this a very specific way. So when you enter up through the marshlands, kind of through these dirt roads here, when you approach, this corner there's going to be a small dirt road that leads you up into the map at this location the juggernaut will essentially spawn here and then walk to you down this hill and i'll show you in a second it happens every time and the best part about this is no other bots are going to be near him or shooting at you at all but you guys want to make sure you're entering this spot through these dirt roads you won't run into any bots over here stay hidden just down on the dirt roads head up to the top and then we're going to find this road i'll show you right now he will be close to this hill and right when we get close enough my vehicle is now going to get ddos so it's completely disabled as i walk up this hill we're going to then see the jug he should be walking down it so he's going to start sprinting down the hill I want you guys to pay attention to the way that I do this. I hug this wall so he constantly doesn't have a line of sight on me. That way, giving me more time to put armor plates back on, use my tear gas. I forgot to do it in this game. It just goes to show you how doable this is, okay? I really like playing at this location again because he's just gonna walk down the hill like this and you can get a lot of shots off while he's constantly walking, trying to get a line of sight on you. And you guys can kill him just like that. That was only three mags right there, okay? So the grenades unluckily blew up my vehicle right there, but it's okay. What we're gonna do is locate an exfil, maybe a vehicle near it. I might not even need a vehicle if I can parachute all the way down there. Parachute off, fly as far as we can, maybe catch a car on the way. Just grab a car just to be safe. You guys should try and grab one too. Okay, immediately oh, head to an- uh-oh, uh-oh, row. Let's go fuck them up. Oh, you were hiding behind the green smoke. That's clever. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Oh wow, he just one tapped me. He was standing. Yeah, you wanna leave or do you, you wanna fight me, you fucking pussies? Which one? He, he may not. Take me, pussy. Hey, don't peek me, don't peek me, don't peek me. You guys should not be doing what I'm doing right now, but I'm ego challenging because I'm pissed. His gun, what is he using? What is he using? Oh, subscribe to the YouTube, enjoy it. Later. Easy. I got really unlucky finding these guys at my exfil. You guys shouldn't necessarily have that problem. If you do, just go to the next one, okay? 
but as you guys can see i was able to complete that just using a ground rpk you guys should be picking up the rpk or the 74u off the ground now something that will help you guys out at the x fills if there are other vehicles again they might just chase you you have the weapons case so get there quickly i had 19 minutes remaining in that game by a time to find a ground rpk go to the top of the mountain where he's at and then immediately x fill before anyone's had the chance to even find me bring a car with you drive around while you wait for the helicopter to land and then the second that it does immediately jump inside so you can leave in those first five seconds so again man i hope you guys enjoyed the video we got lots more dmz content coming as well as multiplayer really anything you guys need help with let me know in the comments leave a like on the video interact with it in any way it really helps my channel get out to people who haven't seen us yet and that's the reason we've got almost 7,000 new subscribers in just the last couple weeks thank you so much if you're new welcome for real and with all that being said i hope you guys have a kick-ass rest of your day if you're just starting to sleep well if you're just ending it we'll see you guys in the next one peace out man